Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, and today I'm gonna show you how to tie five basic macrame knots. Before we get started, be sure to grab your copy of my macrame knot guide for beginners, which is linked down in the description below. To start, I'm just grabbing four pieces of cord and I'll link this cord down below. And these are about an arm's length long that I'm using. And first up, we're gonna tie a lark's head knot. So I just folded my piece of cord in half and I'm gonna take this looped end and lay it over my dowel from the front to the back like this. Then you're gonna just take that loop and pull your ends through the loop. and then pull on the ends to tighten up the loop around your dowel. And that is a lark's head knot. So I'll do that one more time. Same thing, going over the dowel from front to back and just pull the ends through the loop and tighten it up. The next knot we're gonna do is a cow hitch knot, which is just like a lark's head, but in reverse. So we're going up behind the dowel instead of in front and bringing the loop over to the front. Then you just pull the ends through the loop, just like with the lark's head knot, and pull them to tighten it up. And I'm gonna repeat that one more time, just so you can see. So you go up from behind, pull it over, and then bring the ends through the loop and tighten it up. And that is a cow hitch knot or a reverse lark's head. You can see the difference here at the top. Now we're gonna tie a left-facing square knot. So we have these four cords, the two outer cords are the working cords and the two inner cords are called the filler cords. So to make a left facing square knot, you take the left working cord and bring it in front of the filler cords in this four shape. And then you take the right working cord and you're gonna bring it in front of the one you just crossed over. And then it's gonna come up behind the filler cords and come through that loop over on the left. So just pick everything up and stick it right behind everything and pull the end through the loop over on the left. And then you just pull on the two working cords to tighten that up. And then to complete our square knot, we're gonna do the same thing in reverse. So take the right working cord and bring it across in a reverse four shape. Bring the left cord in front of that crossed over cord. And then you're gonna bring it back behind the filler cords and pull it out through the loop on the right. And now you've completed the left facing square knot and I'll show you how to do a right facing one over here on the other side so you can see the difference. So this time we're gonna start on the right side instead and bring it over, bring the left cord over and behind and through. Tighten that up. Then bring the left cord over in front and bring the right cord back behind and through and tighten it up. And you'll be able to see the difference between a right facing and a left facing square knot. You see the little bar is over on the other side. Instead of being on the left, it's on the right and vice versa. Another thing about that little bar is it tells you which side you need to start your next knot on if you're doing a senate. So that's the side that you'll cross over first and then you just keep alternating back and forth to make a senate of square knots. Next we're going to do an alternating square knot and this is where you do a row of knots in between the knots before. So we're just gonna ignore those two outer cords on each side and we're gonna use the two cords on the left of this knot and the two cords on the right of this knot. And we're just gonna tie another square knot that is right in between those knots. And I'm just gonna do a left facing square knot because that's usually what I do anyway. So it's up to you which way you wanna do it. But you just tie a square knot right in the middle of the two knots. And you can do a whole row of this and it's a very common macrame pattern. And here I'm just gonna tie two more square knots on either side to complete our little alternating area here so you can see kind of what that looks like. And you can also add more space in between your rows of knots to get a different look as well. And 
And those are alternating square knots. Next, we're gonna do some spiral half knots. So that is just where you tie half a square knot like this, just like you're doing the first half of a left facing square knot. And go ahead and tighten it. But then instead of switching sides, you're gonna go ahead and tie the same half of a square knot again. And you're just gonna keep tying it over and over again, and it'll start to spiral. Just continue tying half knots like this, and this will make a right twisting spiral half knot sentence. So you can see it starts twisting to the right and it makes this really pretty design. To tie a left twisting spiral, you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is like the first half of a right facing square knot. And you just do that and then repeat it over and over again instead of switching sides. And your spiral will twist to the left instead of to the right. And you see this one just twists to the left. So we have a right twisting and a left twisting spiral half knot. And if you just keep tying them, they'll just keep on twisting. And it's a really fun knot pattern to add to your designs. Now we're gonna do a double half hitch knot going across to the right. So we're gonna take this far left cord and use it as our filler cord. And it goes across all the working cords. So all of these cords down here will be our working cords. So we're gonna be holding our filler cord across and then using our working cords to wrap around it tw two times for each knot. So I like to put my fingers here to kind of help hold the cord in place. And you just bring it up in front and wrap it around down behind the filler cord. And you wanna remember you're wrapping around that filler cord because it can get confusing at first. Go ahead and tighten that first knot up like that, and then you're gonna wrap around one more time the same way. So bring it in front and over, and then down behind and through, and then you're gonna tighten that loop up. You see it looks like this. Tighten it up right next to the first one, and that's your first double half hitch. Now you're gonna move on to the next cord and do the exact same thing again. So just wrap it in front and bring it over your filler cord, and then tighten that working cord up. You always wanna make sure your filler cord is pointing in the direction that you want your knots to go. Then repeat that one more time for the second half of the knot, just going in front and around and bringing the end through the loop and tightening it up. Then you can just continue doing that all the way across. And don't be discouraged if at first when you tie these knots, if they seem kind of messy and not perfectly even. It's just something that takes practice, and the more you do it, the better you'll get. I promise my first row of double half hitch knots looked like a mess, but then the second row looked a lot better, and it's just improved from there. So keep, keep trying and don't give up. <laughs> Okay, there's our row going to the right, and now we're gonna do one going to the left, and I'm just gonna use that same filler cord again and wrap it back the other way. And to go to the left, you do the exact same thing, but just in reverse. So bring the cord up in front and over, and then tighten it up. And then again, you're gonna do the second half of the knot, going to the left this time, and then tighten it up. And that's your first knot, and then just repeat and continue this all the way across.
right, now we're gonna do some diagonal double half hitch knots. So we're gonna start on the left here and we're gonna tie three double half hitch knots going down and to the right. So you hold your filler cord at the angle you want your knots to go. So, and then we're gonna do three this way and then three going the other way. So you hold your filler cord at that angle and then you just go ahead and tie your double half hitch knot like you are going to the right, just like before, but this time you'll be holding that filler cord and the angle that you want your knots to go. So there's our first one, and then you take the next working cord and do the same thing. And just remember to hold your cord at the angle so that they don't end up going straight across again. And then do the second half of your knot. And then one more. So we'll tie one more knot going down and to the right. All right, so there's our left side. Now we're gonna grab the rightmost cord and do the same thing, but going down and to the left. So tie your first double half hitch knot. And you'll be holding the filler cord at the angle, just like we did on the other side, but just going the other direction. And then just go ahead and repeat that with those last two cords. Now to connect the two sides, we're gonna cross over and tie one more double half hitch knot. And it doesn't matter which way you can do this, either going down and to the right or down and to the left. It's really up to you. But this time I'm going down and to the right. But there we go. Now we connected the two sides of our diagonal double half hitch knots. So now we're gonna come down a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to tie a wrapping knot. So I'm just gonna bundle up these cords and I'm gonna take another piece of cord. And this piece of cord needs to be maybe like 30 inches long or so for the size of cord. And you're gonna take it and hold the one end up on the left side like this. And then we're gonna make this U shape with our cord in front of the bundle of cords that we're gonna be wrapping. So we have our little short side over here on the left and then our longer side on the right and it makes this U shape. Then you're gonna take the longer end and you're gonna wrap it around the front and then make sure you leave that little short end sticking up like that. And then you're gonna wrap around and then you're gonna continue wrapping and don't overlap. Each wrap will be under the previous one and just continue wrapping until it's as many times as you want. And then once you get down there, you see that big loop that's left at the bottom from our U shape. You're gonna take the end you've been wrapping and stick it through that loop and just pull it through. And then you're gonna grab the short end sticking up out of the top and pull it. And you see it's bringing the end you were wrapping with up in, and we're gonna keep pulling until it goes up inside the wraps. And you want it to go about halfway up. You don't want to accidentally pull too hard and have it come out the top. You want it to be right there in the middle and that will hold everything in place. And then you can just take the excess cord here at the top and just trim it off. And then just take the end of your scissors and you can poke it down under the wraps and you won't even be able to see it. And if you want, you can trim the bottom end off as well, but right now it just kind of blends in with my end, so I'm just gonna leave it. But you can also cut it off and do the exact same thing on that side. And that is your wrapping knot. And I use this all the time for plant hangers and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check down in the description where I have a link for my free printable macrame knots guide that goes over all these knots with a step-by-step -step photo tutorial. Thanks for watching.